a very political answer. <laughs> not recently. Not recently, like what? Last seven years? <laughs> or last, last, last hundred years? Go ahead. MashaAllah. So it is saying that um, it is a revelation that's sent down by Allah. Okay. And um, Allah is the most like merciful and He's the most forgiving. Um, and the Quran has like basically the, the perfect book. It has all the answers and the um, blah, blah, blah. knowledge in it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Help me! <laughs> Give me some help. Now, here is, let's look at, if you want to really pay people to pay attention, what do you do to, when you start talking? What do you say? Okay. What do you do? Comment. If you, if you want to say something important and people want to pay attention, what do you do? Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Or? Say hmm? Stand up. What? Stand up, okay. Enthusiasm. Hmm? Enthusiasm. Like, say it with an enthusiasm. So, oh, what else? Enthusiasm. <laughs> this is not enthusiasm. This is enthusiasm. What do you do? You want people to... There is something important you're going to say. What do you say? Pay attention. You, Pay attention. So you really, when, when you want to say something important, you want people to pay attention to what you're going to say. And that's why you're going to find many of the surahs that start with Alif Lam Mim. So people say, oh, what's going on? Yasin. People say, what's Yasin? Then you start paying attention. And then when you want people to believe what you say, what do you do? Yeah. Somebody come and say, well, you did this and this and that. You did this and this and this. No, 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 I didn't do it. Oh, no, I don't believe you. What do you say? Wallahi, I said that. Wallahi, I didn't do it. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he wants to make sure that something is really important, then can you believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making that, is swearing that it is the right thing. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has seen one Qur'an al-Hakim. He's making an oath and he's making a swear with the Qur'an al-Hakim. What's Hakim? It's an older word. Means what? Hmm? Hmm? No. Hakim. No. Hakim. Hmm? Well, it has two wisdom, yes. Yes, it has wisdom in it. Yes. But you know, Hakim is doctor. Wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. Hallelujah, wisdom. Are you sure? It's wisdom, but it really comes. Uh, Hakim. You guys, what? You know Urdu? Yeah, recently? <laughs> okay. Do you know Almost? Urdu? At least, eh? Do you know Urdu? Of course, because half of the Urdu words are Arabic words. Let's speak it. Yeah, kharab. Oh. Eh? Oh. Huh? That's yeah, a bad thing. Bla it means kharab means yeah. destroyed or broken or something. At least I know that. Yeah. Huh? At least I know that. You know that, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so Hakim is really, is Hakim is a doctor. Or Hakim is a wise person. Yeah, it's wisdom, yeah, it's wisdom. So it's wisdom. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, I swear with the Quran al-Hakim. I swear with the Quran al-Hakim. The Quran has tons of wisdom. It is all wisdom. What is he swearing about? What is he swearing about? You said you know the ten verses, right? Who, who is there? Yeah. yeah. What is he swearing with? I want you guys to open your Quran. Open your Quran and look at it. And by the way, we have an artist among ourselves. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Okay. I'd like to, to, to see if you take your notes in this kind of nice letter. So I want everyone to have to have Surah Yasin here of Quran so at least you can know the Arabic and the English at the same time. So what Allah subhanahu wa read read there, read there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing. I he's swearing. First he say, pay attention Yasin. And then say, well, Qur'an al-Hakim, then the next thing is what? <laughs> you are indeed, when, it, when you see the word, 
This is me emphasizing what comes after. They're in the orange bag on the table. There's where? On the front table. This, this desk. Oh, here? Yes. So in that, this is when you say in that means whatever it comes after in that, you are emphasizing and you make sure that it is true. Surely, verily, truly, what is going to come in is, is actually the truth. In naka, in naka means what? When we put the cat to it, means I'm talking to you in Naka. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in Naka, indeed surely you are. Min al mursaleen min is from the messengers. This means what? When, when, when you hear this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I swear with the Quran, the full of wisdom, that you are among the messengers. What comes to your mind? When you hear that? Um, um, like credibility. credibility. to whom? To um, like Allah. So he's giving him credibility because when he recited this Quran to others, then he had the credentials, got it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what does it mean to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes? It's a guarantee that he is one of the messengers. Well, he is already know that he is the messenger. But why he's telling him now, indeed, surely, I swear you are the messenger. You are, swear you are one of the messengers, yes? Wait, did it come when there was trouble? Yes, to support him, to give him support and give him, to back him up. Don't worry about what's going around you. You are indeed, I swear you are from the messengers. And what else after that, what comes the next verse? Can you read it in Arabic? Nekal yes. al Mursaleen. What Ala Sirat al Mustaqim means? On the straight path. On the straight path. Ala means what? On. On. Sirat? Straight. Not path. <laughs> of course, if it's not path, it's going to be straight. If it's not straight, <laughs> <laughs> it's good guess. Good guess. Sirat. You know, you know, you know. We. How many times do we say Sirat al Mustaqim in our life? Hmm? How many? A lot. A lot. How many times? If you pray five times a day, you say it five times. And Sirat, the word Sirat, how many times? If you pray five times? Two times in one surah. In Fatiha. So at least you pronounce it ten times a day. Good math? Good math? Good math? Yeah, at least 10 times. Do we really know what's... We, pardon me? Well, it's not right now, because each your God, you're doing it. Each your God. Each your God. Each your God. So it's really, it's what you have is how many how many rakas do we do a day? I'm, I'm saying at least if they pray one time. <laughs> and two, and plus, I put it on the side. Okay, how many rakas do we do every day? 17 for four? Yeah. 17, are you sure? No. Two, four, that's six, and four, that's ten, and three is thirteen, and four is seventeen. You are right. What is your confidence, God? What is your confidence, God? That's wrong. Why? Isha? 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 I don't know about Isha. I know Isha. That was Isha. Yeah. Four and three. Yeah. Minimum What? Four and three. For Isha? We talk about four. But isn't that? But that is part. We have to pray. I don't know. Guys, calm down, okay? Okay. A confident girl is gonna talk. Speak. So here, I'm, I'm glad you brought this point. I'm glad you brought this point, but you brought it without knowing why you bring it. But inshallah, you, now you're going to know why you bring it. Because here is something I want you guys to think about it. We're not going to do it now, but this is something we should be doing it by the end of this year. Is that the messenger himself, what did he do? Did he do only the 17 rakah of far? No, he did more. He did more. Did he do it on a regular basis or on and off? Regular. Regular basis. This means what? This means what? Yeah. 
Can you think now? Because now what we're gonna we're gonna link everything we say here together, and I hope that you guys are, you are so smart, oh, mashallah. Yes. It helps us by praying more. It helps us with history. Okay. Then, okay. Yeah. What do you think? I'm just gonna say that we need to pray more. Okay. What do you think, brother uh, Arpest? Oh, I think. Uh, <laughs> <he's been laughs> Okay. What what is to do with what we have been starting the theme of our discussions and the theme of our learning? What we, are, we want to be? We are the messenger of the messenger. So if I'm going to be the messenger of the messenger, then I'm going to do what the messenger has been doing. So the messenger, and that's we're going to find you guys for a messenger for not for 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 the leaders. Leaders will do things and they force themselves to do things that the normal follower wouldn't do. Why? Because they are the leaders and people will imitate them. And that's why Rasulullah he was doing this so we can imitate him. So if we're going to be the messenger of the messenger, then we shouldn't be thinking, well, I'm only going to pray 17 rakahs because those are the parts. What about the other one, like 